gracious God, we are recipients of your great love and the goodness of your gospel in our salvation. Enlighten the eyes of our hearts that we may see, that we may know what is the hope to which you have called us, the hope of eternal life. Thank you for the Lord for giving us this day. In Jesus' name, Amen. Good morning. Happy new day. Happy Monday, June 10, 2024. This is Love World, the key you open heaven, a guide to close fellowship with God. In our custom, let's say, Hallelujah. 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 It's an every language. Hallelujah song. We never say so out in Jesus' name. Amen. The topic before this morning is shoe of the gospel. Shoe of the gospel. I mean, first I may find the book of Ephesians 6, verse 15. I read. And your feet should read the preparation of the gospel of peace. And your feet should with the preparation of the gospel of peace. In continuation of our teaching on the full armor of God, I will be discussing the third piece of armor listed in Ephesians 6, verse 10 to 17. This armor is actually called the shoe of the preparation of the gospel of the peace. The first thing to note about this armor is that it is implied moving around the gospel. Your security is your preaching of the gospel. The more unbelievers you are, able to convert to Christianity, the lesser the devil attack on you will be. Ecclesiastes 4 verse 12 says that two are better than one, and threefold, God is not easily broken. When you are the only Christian in your neighborhood or family, you are more open to attack because Everyone around you is in the opponent's army. However, if you win all your family members and neighbor to Christ, you will be more secure. When the enemy tries to strike, you will have soldiers around you to come together to pray and send the devil packing. When you are feeling weak spiritually, you will have reason to strengthen your weak, hard and lift your fury. Neil Isaiah 35, verse 3 to 4. The peace element in this shoe will give you peace as you go around preaching the gospel. The devil will come at you with all kinds of things to scare you so that you will not preach the gospel. But when you have peace, his trick will not work on you. He is like a real lion. 1 Peter 5, verse 8. That scare people but cannot bite. That peace is necessary as you go out to preach the gospel because you will face repercussion and you will face persecution. Also, as you preach the gospel, you have to bring peace to child environment. This is why in Luke 10 verse 5, when Jesus sent the disciple out to preach the gospel, he said that the first thing they were to say when they get to a new place is pay unto this house. When you are spreading the peace, not Charles, and for anyone that received the gospel, the first thing they will experience in their heart is peace. Hello, do you have your shoe of the gospel of peace? Do you win souls? Imagine how much peace will be in your country if one of the soul you have won become the president of your country tomorrow. When you preach the gospel, you are doing it for your own security. But then, I want us to read the book of Isaiah 52, verse 6 to 7, and our Bible in one year. Psalm 34, verse 37. Our hymn in 20. Stand up, stand up for Jesus. Stand up, stand up for Jesus. Our actual point for today. Put on the shoe of the gospel of peace now. Please to at least one person daily. Put on the shoe of the gospel of peace now. 
wish to at least one person daily. And I pray God will strengthen you. God will help you in all ramification. In Jesus' name. Amen. Brother, this is Love War. Till I come here tomorrow. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel, click on the like button, share with your friends and family. And goodness of God will never leave your life. Have a nice day. And bye for now. God bless you. Happy Monday and happy new week. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.